is 10.19. We're leaving in about 10 minutes to go to a park that Nick sent me the link to. He always has to kind of like give me a little push and go to get out the door. I don't really go many places with both kids by myself because it's hell for everybody, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be totally honest about that. I am terrified of it. So I'm gonna bring a few tools with me today that I'm gonna share with you, but I am making Harlow a snack right here. We got some chicken, um, fruit, and um, string cheese. And I'm gonna make her a little <clears throat> peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of this like dilapidated sourdough bread. She won't know any different, it's cool. I'm also wearing a shirt just to let all the other moms know at the park that I'm a cool mom and I like to do cool shit. Come talk to me because I need friends. This morning I had my apple cider vinegar little shot with some water before I had anything else. Then I had some protein that's expired. I threw it in the trash and Nick was like, um, it's literally dried powder. Like, why are you throwing this away? And I was like, well, I Googled it and it said you can't keep, you know, powder. But you know, who probably paid for that article is a company that sells protein powder. And he's like, uh, literally the point of drying it out and putting it in powder form is so that it pretty much lasts forever. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. That checks out doc. So we pulled it out of the trash can this bread is just giving up on life. It's like falling apart. I need to get some like regular bread, like Dave's bread for like, now that she's eating more intricate things like a PB and J. So anyways, I had my protein shake. I watched a video yesterday about like, I posted on my Instagram. So you may have seen it there, but like about different habits you can do to like lose weight and be healthier. And I was kind of realizing yesterday, like it's not necessarily all about losing weight, of course. I wanna feel better, but like my quality of life just is not good when my house is messy. I don't enjoy that. It's not something that's ever gonna change about me. I can like learn to like manage it a little bit better. Um, does, that, does that taste good, my hair clip? Your hair looks so cute. And another thing that's not good for my quality of life is um, I don't have good quality of life when I don't fit my clothes and I don't feel like I look the way I want to look and I don't feel the way I want to feel. So yesterday I had like 800 move, not to be confused with my steps. I was in the 10,000 range for that. But like I like did 30 minutes of the Stairmaster. I worked out, my abs are sore today. I'm feeling really good about that. So it just felt really nice to like see some, like just implement some different changes that are gonna like create the change that I want to see. Yummy! What I've been terrified about, oh my gosh, why isn't this easier to close? Um, is having to chase Harlow when she's running away from me, which is absolutely inevitable. Um, and then leaving him by himself and having somebody come snatch my child. I'm terrified of that. So, okay, I cannot close this. I hate when I have to like... Huh? Are you okay? Are you good? You need it? You just had breakfast. You need some agua? Let's do it. Let's do it. You want to see yourself? Look, look at the baby. Look at my cuteness. Say, let's do it. High five. Ignore mommy's horribly tanned hand there. This morning, she um, hit my arm with like this like fake mop thing that she had. How do I turn this freaking video off? And I was like, ow, you hurt mommy. We're gonna put this down. She literally grabs my arm and is like, oh, I kiss it, I kiss it, I kiss it. And she like kissed it and I was like, oh, better. Is this person doing a burn pile today over there? You guys see that? You got a burn pile going on or what? There's a house like right up here. One thing I like to do is put, when I'm here alone, is put Wyatt in his car seat before we even walk out to the car because inevitably I have to set him down very quickly to run after this little one who likes to run down our very steep driveway. No way. Mm. So we put him in here and then I just have to pop him in the car. It's pop much... him in the car. Pop him in the car. That's right. Oh, that's fun. Ugh. I've got my bassinet type attachment for my stroller because he hasn't slept today yet. 
So I'm bringing that and then I'm also bringing a carrier in case I have to kind of be more with Harlow on the play playground. I've never been to this one, so I don't really know what to expect. So these are my two options here, which should work for any situation. And I almost forgot this in the bottle uh, maker. Thank goodness we didn't because we would have had to turn around. I would just love to know what this guy is doing, letting his daughter in this bike sit right here. A car just like turned right right there too. And she's like literally, first of all, you're not even supposed to ride a bike across the street. We are literally on a highway and she is like on, in the road. I can't, dude, I cannot even believe how some people, okay. I'm not trying to judge, but like that's not safe. Bro, and then as he's crossing the street, he's letting her ride behind him and he's just looking forward. of your child better like what is wrong with you like i'm not here to judge how people parent but that was straight up just not safe for his child like at all we just made it to the park this is like literally the last spot to park in the actual parking lot so baby's sleeping i don't know if i brought the attachment for his stroller we're gonna find out but um i'm pretty much not gonna film much in here because my friend claudine cannot meet us unfortunately and um i need to keep both my eyes on my children so i might be able to film something on my phone but i'm not gonna bring the tripod and do that whole thing okay i opted for this right now The other side. Okay, get on the slide. Ready, set, go. Woo! Okay, go down. It's a little bitty slide, huh? rushed straight to the bathroom oh my gosh that's one issue with going out with two kids when they're not older by yourself is that you're basically screwed if you have to go pee unless you're with a friend or there's like a family restroom where you can like bring the stroller in lock the door and like it's kind of gross still because like Harlow will like get on the floor or touch things she's not supposed to while I'm sitting on the toilet peeing which is not great but at least you get to pee um <laughs> Uh, okay, so point of view here. My kitchen is a mess and I have a clean dishwasher to put away. I don't know who organized all those like that? <laughs> and I've got a full sink of dishes and a very messy island. I like when these are both completely clear. It gives me anxiety when there's when it's not. The living room is a mess. But I am just really in need of some time to sit on my butt by myself on the couch. I just put both the kids down for a nap. Let's hope they stay asleep for at least two hours. <sighs> or at least an hour would even be nice, but like two hours would be cool. I think they will because Wyatt hasn't had a nap at all today except like 20 minutes in the car. And then Harlow, this is a, like a late nap for her. This is the time she takes a nap at daycare, so we'll see how it goes, but she's not crying yet, so that's a good sign. I'm starving. I think I might make some split pea soup for tonight, and I'm gonna make some lunch, and I'm just gonna sit on my butt and watch The Farmer Wants a Wife. Now, no more, nobody nagging at me right now. That's exactly what I don't wanna deal with right now, okay, Jessica? Okay. I just put in everything that I've had today into this app. Um, it's called Chronometer, and it, Basically, you can scan the barcodes of anything you are eating that has like a barcode that you bought at the store or whatever, or you can even put in like a cup of broccoli, steamed or fried or whatever. And you can kind of put in like your goals and your macronutrient targets. Um, I used to do this a long time ago in my early 20s. I would like weigh out all my food. So I'm, I don't know how long I'm gonna be inputting food into this. However, I'm trying to get a baseline to understand like, how many calories, fats, carbs, and proteins I'm eating in a day. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. So up here is like how much of your protein and this is like the whole amount I'm allowed for the day or like my goal basically. My goal, I call the protein a goal because I don't like to eat a lot of protein. I don't eat a lot of meat 
And then the carbs and the fats, these are like my maximum amounts I'm supposed to have. So I'm trying to kind of see like with what I'm like eating on a daily basis and being a little better today because I'm like starting my whole journey. But um, trying to see like, like I think I'm eating too much fat throughout the day. I'm eating like a lot of pine nuts. I'm eating hummus. I'm eating avocado and a lot of oil, olive oil. So I'm eating a lot of fats. And so I think I might be eating too much fat. So I'm basically trying to use it to see like what my baseline is and like what I'm eating in a day and like where it puts me on my targets because then it'll be a little more obvious like what changes I need to make. Um, so yeah, just, this is kind of an interesting little app if you need something like that to kind of like open your eyes to like how many carbs and things that you're eating are or sugars or whatever. I'm hoping to prepare dinner for myself in a few minutes here after I finish my espresso. If I don't prepare food for myself while the kiddos are sleeping or while Nick is here, I end up just grabbing whatever there is to eat. And usually it's like an avocado, a cheese stick, like a, like a guacamole cup, those little ones from Costco and like, or like chips and salsa. And I don't really have the chance to like make myself a good healthy meal. So um, what I have been doing for the past week, which was really nice, it was really funny, my nail inspire, my nail lady, Cece inspired me. She was like, girl, you need to go home and take care of your husband, cook dinner for him. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. And so I came home got my ass on Pinterest and I was like, all right, so I'm going to like figure out at least four meals for this week and just leave us room to like go out to eat. But I put together four meals. I put a post on, I wanted to get one of those like magnetic cute, like clear acrylic boards for the fridge, like showing when and what day a meal was going to be. So Nick knew. Um, and unfortunately our fridge is not like, you can't put magnets on it. <clears throat> so um, and Nick would kill me if I put any sort of other thing on the fridge, <laughs> but a post-it note on there and I wrote it out and he came home and was like very excited about it. But basically long of the short is that, or short of the whatever, um, is that I probably need to cook myself some soup right now. Maybe I'll do like a soup and salad tonight and just prepare that now because I know that I'm not going to get an opportunity to do it later. I could break down the giant pile of boxes that's by the front door but I'm not gonna rob Nick of the opportunity to break down my giant pile of Amazon boxes. So we're gonna leave him there. Is that fun? Like my, um... oh, <laughs> Planning out some dinners for the week. Uh, Nick is gonna be off tomorrow, working Tuesday, and then off for six days, I think. So I already had gotten the stuff for a sesame chicken, so I'm just gonna write that down. And then I'm gonna search through Pinterest and find some other stuff. I did also sign up for a uh, goodchop.com. One of our biggest issues is always like not having the meat. Like I always have like the sides or the rice or whatever. Cause I eat a lot of veggies and stuff and I don't eat a lot of meat. And so Nick will come home and I'm like, where do we get the meat from? Or where's a good spot to get seafood from? Or like whatever. So I signed up for this. And it's pretty cool so far, like you get to pick your choices of meat, which seems cool. Um, and I think it'll be really interesting to have like just new stuff delivered every couple weeks. And so like, there's a couple things on here like I've never purchased or even cooked. So I think it'll be cool to like Google like 
This is called a bavette. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Bavette steak grass fed. Um, this is all like sustainable, um, like just small farms, like all that kind of stuff, um, which I love. Between this or butcher box that I was looking at, but butcher box doesn't allow you to choose. And I like the idea of like being able to choose. Someone can't get any water out of here. I wonder why. Soggy pretzels. That is so disgusting. Just got the kiddos down and I am going to look over some questions for tomorrow. I'm going to be on a podcast um, called Real Motherfuckers. <laughs> it's um, actually a neighbor of mine who does it with a fire wife that I actually don't know and I'm going to be on it um, tomorrow. So I'm going to review my questions again. Today's been real fun. This is the first time in a little bit that Harlow hasn't just cried for a while after putting her to sleep. So that is like so relaxing right now that it is just quiet. Um, I'm going to peek at the camera in a minute and see what she's up to in there. Hopefully she's passed out. I also have this like giant cozy like marshmallow type suit with like feet that snap on that I got from Amazon that I put on her on cold nights and she seems to sleep really well when she's in that thing. So um, yeah, that could be part of it too. But I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.